We have seen how to automatically watch for changes in PUG files using PUG Watch or PUG W on the command line. But this isn't ideal because we can only watch for changes made in single files using this method. Once we have a site consisting of more than one page, if we continue to use the PUG command line interface, we would have to start and stop the PUG Watch command, watching each file separately. This would rapidly become tedious, so we need a better way to watch for changes in multiple files and compile them all to HTML or PHP automatically. For this we need to set up Gulp Automation using a Gulp file, and in this add-on video to the original course I'll take you through the steps to do this. So as to demonstrate this, I've taken the files from the Acme Cleaning website from earlier in the course, but I've organised them into a source directory and a distribution directory, as we saw at the end of the course. Here's the file structure, with the PUG files in the root of the SRC directory, which also has a templates directory containing layout.pug, an includes directory with nav.pug and footer.pug, and a CSS directory with the style sheet style.css. In the dist folder are the images we used earlier, and nothing else. I'm going to show how to use Gulp to compile the pug files and style sheet from SRC into HTML and CSS files in dist. To get going with Gulp, we need first to install Gulp-CLI, the command line interface. On the command line, run the command npm install Gulp-CLI. Then use npm to initialize a new node project. npm init-y Dash Y skips unnecessary questions and goes with defaults. Next, install gulp with the command npm install gulp. Now make a file in the root of the project named gulpfile.js. Open up gulpfile.js for editing and we'll start by creating a test function. Add the code function, default task, and then in parentheses cb, and then curly braces for the function. cb means callback. And then inside the curly braces console.log, gulp is working. And cb parentheses to run that. And then after the closing brace, exports.default equals default task. And then out on the command line, type gulp. And the console should return the message gulp is working. Delete all that from gulpfile.js and we'll set up automatic pug file compilation. We need to install gulp pug first by typing npm install gulp pug on the command line. Then in gulpfile.js enter the code const and then in curly braces src comma dest dest equals require gulp inside parentheses and quotes. This exposes the gulp methods src for source and dest for destination, and those set the source and destination locations. And then const pug equals require Gulp dash pug inside parentheses and quotes. This loads the gulp pug module into gulpfile.js. Now we can write our function to compile pug to HTML. Function HTML parentheses curly braces. And inside the curly braces return src parentheses quotes src forward slash star dot pug. So this takes as the source all the pug files in the src directory, and we chain onto this the pipe command, which performs a series of tasks one after the other. So inside the pipe parentheses, pug, 
and then parentheses, and inside that curly braces. Inside those curly braces, we have pretty colon true. And this uses the pretty option for nicely formatted output files. If, at a later stage, you want to minimise file size on final production, you can change true to false here. And then chained on again in another pipe command. Dest, that's the name of the command, and then in parentheses and quotes, dist, and that's the name of our folder, the distribution folder. And after the end of the HTML function, we need to export that. Exports.html equals HTML. Now we're ready to try that, so on the command line, type gulp HTML. And that will run the function we've just written, named HTML. And in the dist directory, all the HTML files corresponding to the pug files in SRC should have been created. At the moment, we have no style sheet in the dist directory. Opening up the newly created index.html file in a browser verifies that it has no styling. So we need to write a function for that as well. Rename style.css in the src directory to style.scss, as we will be using the gulp sas compiler, which expects an scss file as its source. On the command line, install the gulp sas compiler. npm install gulp-sas. and sas, npm install sas. Back in gulpfile.js type const sas equals require, and then in parentheses gulp sas, and then straight after that in another set of parentheses require sas. To load the gulp sas and the sas modules. And then create a function named css which looks in the src css directory for all files with the extension scss. Pipe the output to the next command, which checks for errors in the style sheet. And another pipe, which sends the compiled css file to the dist forward slash css directory, the output directory, and export that. On the command line, run gulp css. And style.css should be created in the dist forward slash css folder. And now we can refresh index.html in the browser and see that the styling is applied. That's a bit better than before. Now we can compile all our files in two commands. But it's not very good. We want to watch all the files for changes and compile them automatically. At the bottom of gulpfile.js type exports.watch equals function, parentheses, curly braces. Inside this watch function, we will create a series of gulp tasks. These will watch each type of file in the directory specified and run the appropriate function we've just created. The first will watch all the scss files in the src forward slash css directory and run the css function that we've just written on them. And we'll do the same thing with the pug files in the src directory and run the html function on them. We need to expose the method watch at the top of gulpfile.js and run gulp watch on the command line. And now, whenever a change is made in any of the pug files or scss files, compilation will be done automatically. If we make a change in the source stylesheet, style.scss, the change is made automatically in the distribution file, style.css. 
If we want to compile to PHP files instead of HTML files, we just chain another line onto the HTML function to rename the output files. Dot pipe parentheses and inside the parentheses rename parentheses and inside that curly braces ext name colon and in quotes dot PHP. And for that to work we need to install gulp rename and load the module into the gulp file. const rename equals require gulp dash rename. And if we want we can rename the HTML function PHP throughout. Now I'll delete all the HTML files which were just compiled, stop and then run gulp watch again and make a change in any of the pug files and all the PHP files will be created. That handles all we have in our project as we only have pug files and a style sheet. But for the sake of completeness I'll also cover how to compile multiple JavaScript files in the source directory to a single one in the distribution directory. We haven't got any JavaScript files, so for demonstration purposes I'll create a couple of dummy.js files which just console log their own names. I'll make a new folder inside SRC called JS and then we'll put our source JavaScript files. We'll make two files, script1 and script2, and they will both just log out, they'll just console log their own name, script1 and script2. Save those, and to process these we just concatenate the multiple source files into one distribution file named scripts.js. Make the link to this in the head part of layout.pug. And to process these we need the module gulp concat. npm install gulp concat. Load it into the gulp file using const concat equals require gulp concat. Create a new function named js. Look for source files named .js in the src forward slash js directory. Pipe them through gulp concat to an output file named scripts.js. And we need that to go into the destination directory inside dist and export that with exports.js equals js. Add the js source directory to the list of gulp watch tasks. Stop and restart gulp watch. Make some changes to one of the JavaScript files. And in the dist forward slash js folder you should see the one concatenated script file appear. Make a change to any of the source pug files. And the change we just made in layout.pug, the link to the scripts.js file, will take effect in all the PHP files. And that's that, an efficient way to compile your pug project using Gulp.